What's up everyone, this is Silly Science with Simon and I'm in the kitchen today to tell you all about acids and bases. You can try this at home, but make sure you wear gloves and get an adult to help you. Are you ready? Then let's get scienced! Acids and bases are all around us. They're in the things we eat, the things we drink, and even in the things we use for cleaning. Scientists use something known as an indicator to tell which chemicals are acids and which are bases. Today we're going to use an indicator found in red cabbage. To get the indicator out of the cabbage, add a few cabbage leaves to a blender with some water, give it a quick blend, and then pour this out through a sieve into a jug. If you don't have a blender, you can put some cabbage leaves in a saucepan, add some water, and boil it for 10 minutes on the stove. Whilst that's boiling, let me show you what you'll need to do this experiment at home today. You will need a lemon, vinegar, Sprite, water, a solution of bicarb soda in water, and some Windex. For the rest of this experiment, you're gonna need some safety gear, and that's why we're gonna get Sensible Simon! All right, this is what we're gonna do. Put all of the items for testing into separate cups. Add one tablespoon of the red cabbage indicator to each cup and watch it change color. Let's see that all one more time. We get a range of colors from red to pink to purple to blue and even to green. Red cabbage contains a chemical known as anthocyanin. That's A-N-T-O. This chemical changes colour when it's in the presence of an acid and when it's in the presence of a base. It turns red in a strong acid, pink in a weak acid, it stays purple in a neutral substance, it turns blue in a weak base and green in a strong base. I'm going to add it to another base that's really, really strong, sodium hydroxide. Don't try this one at home. Scientists place acids and bases on a scale known as the pH scale. Most chemicals have a pH between 0 and 14. A really strong acid will have a pH close to 0, and a really strong base will have a pH close to 14. Pure water is neutral and has a pH of 7. A weak acid has a pH a little bit less than 7, and a weak base has a pH a little bit more than 7. Here's where the chemicals that we tested today sit on the pH scale. The coolest thing about this indicator is that the colour change is reversible. When we add a base, it turns green. And when we add an acid, it goes back to being pink. Thanks for watching this episode of Silly Science with Simon. Before you go, I've got one more thing to show you. I've written back a hidden message to tell her what we need to buy at the shops. I've placed some flour on the table, written out my message in bicarb soda, and then covered the whole thing with icing sugar. I'm then gonna spray it with our red cabbage indicator to reveal the message. That was pretty easy. Check this out. And it's a bit of a joke because you just use that flash and you're in back. <laughs>